What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is. And thank you very much for tuning in to another episode onto the YouTube channel of YouTube.com. Says for the win, Itachi. As you all know, this past Friday and Saturday um, was BlizzCon 2017. It is now November 6th of 2017, which is Monday. Finally gathered all of my materials to get these videos out. And we're basically going to be diving on into uh, what is new for Hearthstone. And we'll also be doing episodes for uh, Diablo, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, StarCraft, and Heroes of the Storm. So make sure you check out those as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Hearthstone trailer on um, basically what was announced. It is a brand new adventure uh, called Kobolds and Catacombs. So without further ado, let's check out what the trailer is all about. Blizzard Entertainment presents Kobolds and Catacombs, fam. And I don't know if you guys know, but the voice actor singing this is the voice actor from McCree, fam. It is the voice actor from McCree. This guy can sing. Well, I, it's insane. The best. You're on a great quest to find the mighty mother load. The treasure galore, but perils in store and construction that isn't up to code. Trespass with care. I've seen this before once, and I know all of it. In Hondos. Riches you'll own, but leave one thing alone. The goddamn condo. Alright, that was in the lyrics, but yeah. Kobolds, man. Making me want to level a human pally! Alright, we can push back, fam. God damn kobolds. Alright. So there was some cool stuff announced with the kobolds and catacombs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. So kobolds and catacombs, get ready to delve deep into the unexplored underground realm packed with... Malignant monsters, terrifying traps, and treasures beyond imagination. Gather your party for Hot Zone's nearest expansion, Kobolds and Catacombs. So, glorious, glorious loot is a huge part of Kobolds and Catacombs' story. Join us as we discover the troves attempting treasures that Kobolds and Catacombs holds in store. And we've just seen the trailer. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, bypass that fam. So, I'm going to be jumping around a little bit here. But explore the kobolds and catacombs, survive deadly encounters, and unearth wondrous treasures. So Azeroth's rat-like, candle-loving cave folk, the kobolds, have been digging deep beneath the surface of four millennia. Their catacombs stretch on for miles, wending through forbidden tombs and breaking through the walls of the long-forgotten treasure vaults. A horde of glorious loot is there for the taking if we can survive the dangers that lurk in those uncharted tunnels. So secreted away in kobolds and catacombs awaits many wondrous encounters. Basically, this is the announcements for the brand new expansion uh, for Hearthstone, and it is absolutely amazing. So, dungeon runs, PvE content, similar to the expansions like Lish King, which is kind of like the raiding content for Hearthstone, we get brand new PvE content, dungeon runs. Free, first of all, repeatable, single-player experience where everything you need is provided, similar to arenas where everything is provided, except it is free. So legendary weapons are collectible cards for all nine classes as well, which is going to be the new legendaries for this set. A new keyword called recruit for some of the cards, and in total 135 new cards to add to our collection. So dungeon runs, let's go ahead and get started on what I'm looking forward to. It's an insanely fun single player roguelike mode where you'll face deadly encounters and collect incredible treasures to build a deck worthy of a hero. When your dungeon run starts, you'll random or you'll choose, sorry, not randomly choose. You'll choose a hero and receive a starting deck consisting of ten cards. You'll use it to overcome eight encounters of increasing difficulty. And basically through those encounters, you'll be able to build your deck a little bit more um, after you defeat a challenge. And again, it starts off easy and gets harder as you go through. Um, basically, you'll encounter a in the dungeon run you'll be given an opportunity to level up your dungeon run deck as already stated with themed sets of three appropriate cards for your class occasionally you'll be able to uh, basically choose from a selection of three incredibly powerful treasure cards non-collectible cards and abilities made just for this mode because they are odd 
damn blatantly OP to see in normal play. You'll need all that power as well as your wits because the encounters can be really difficult. Victory is not assured, and each encounter has its own unique perils. If one of them gets the better of you, defeat is permanent, so you have to start the whole freaking thing over. So if you manage to complete a full dungeon run with each of the nine classes, similar to how Lich King, where you defeat the Lich King with each of the nine classes, you get a cool prize, no mean feat, you'll get the Candle King card back to your collection. There's also legendary weapons that was announced, and we'll dive on in a little bit more in a little bit later. But basically, the Dragon Soul, which is the priest weapon, the uh, Couples and Catacombs brings the power of legendary weapons to Hearthstone. Dragon Soul is nearly the first to be revealed. There are eight other magnificently potent artifacts for you to wield in the Catacombs, one of each of the nine uh, heroes of Hearthstone. So Dragon Soul, after you cast three spells in a turn, summon a 5-5 dragon. As you've noticed, it has zero attack, and I'll explain why in a bit. Legendary adventurers require legendary adventurers. Goddamn straight, fam. And Marin of the Fox is an adventurer's adventurer. This cunning rogue knows the ins and outs of every dungeon, and he's delving deep into the catacombs to search for the storied uh, chest, bringing with ridiculously powerful magical items, which she's going to be giving us. You'll need his expertise if you hope to survive the adventures through the catacombs. Fortune favors you. Though, because everyone can add Marin to their collection for free just by logging in starting today, uh, Monday, November 6th, right up until Kobold to Catacomb launches. But, guess what? BlizzCon attendees, me, virtual ticket holders, me, but sadly I only get one. Uh, we'll also get the golden version of Marin himself as well. And basically, how it works is... If, if, if I can see this goddamn straight, thank you. Uh, you'll be able to add Marin to your decks and use him in games soon after BlizzCon before Couple of Catacombs is released. If you don't manage to get him before, then you'll be granted a copy of the card at a later date. Uh, now that you can get Marin, let's pick up to see what's in the chest, shall we? So Golden Cobalt, Taunt, Battlecry replaces your hand with legendary minions. Really cool, right? And then we also got the Tolan's Goblet's Draw a Card. Fill your hand with copies of it. OP fam. Wondrous Wand. Draw three cards. Reduce their cost to goddamn zero. And my favorite, Zarog's Crown. Discover a legendary minion and summon two copies of it. So, absolutely cool to see. And let's go ahead and keep it going, fam. In good company, treasure is the glittering heart of couples of catacombs. But to truly capture the fantasy of delving into dungeons, you need adventurers to go after the shiny stuff. Gather your party with a new keyword, Recruit. Recruit summons a random minion from your deck, and it shows up only on cards associated with the adventures of co characters in Kobo the Catacombs. Recruit introduces some interesting deck-building decisions, and because it sometimes comes with key limitations such as mana cost, you'll need to make careful decisions and choices about how many min um, how many minions and which ones you include in your deck. For example, gather your party, recruit a minion, cost 6 mana. You might have a minion that has 1 cost of mana in your deck. Pray to the goddamn lord that you do not get that one found, because that's definitely not what you want. Colorful kobolds. Kobolds are key figures to kobolds and catacombs. After all, they were the ones that dug all the miles of tunnels and chambers with their endless excavations. Despite living nearly their whole lives underground, kobolds don't seem to like the dark. They all wear a lit candle on their head, goddamn lit fam, and while they might jealously defend the piles of gold, jewels, and magical artifacts that can be found in their domain, every kobold's most treasured possession is that bit of wax and wick. If you venture into the catacombs, remember to refrain. You take no candle fam. This is merely a small glimpse, so we're going to go ahead and get into it a little bit more on uh, what we did see later on in BlizzCon. But in December, they're going to give us more information on what type of cards are going to be announced as well. So let's go ahead and dive on into a little bit more of what we saw. So Legendary Adventures call for Legendary Weapons from Mystical Blades, Wreath in Eldritch Energies, to Stabs imbued with the Wisdom of Ancient Ages. Mighty Magical Weapons are their calling cards of great heroes in that spirit. All nine classes can seek out their own Legendary Weapon of Kobolds and Catacombs. To start your quest, we'll be given a leg random legendary weapon for free just by logging in after Kobolds and Catacombs is released. So hopefully I get the Warlock one. 
Each legendary weapon has its own flair and unique power. While every class will be able to equip a weapon, those will, weapons will reflect the character of classes that wield them, which I was speaking to about earlier with zero attack. For example, classes most known for spell Flan and Hearthstone Mage, Warlocks, and Priests have their weapons with zero attack, but they have some freaking cool abilities. Uh, we got a Luneth, another one that was released. At the end of the turn, draw three cards, and I believe that is for the Mage. Uh, dangerous Arcane Knowledge, it empowers a mage, yes, uh, to quickly draw cards. So it is the mage one at the cost of drawing what remains in her deck, the Pearl of Speed. Uh, more legendary weapons remain undiscovered in the catacombs. Their secrets will be revealed as we draw near to release. Cannot wait to see what Warlock's got in store. So glorious gear, unidentified items. Delving into dungeons can be a quick and dirty business when an ink, uh, when a monster is breathing down your neck. Sometimes you need to make use of items you find almost as soon as you found them. That's where unidentified items come in. Do you dare take a sip of this mysterious glowing potion? What effects might it have? So every time you... Um, draw an unidentified elixir, it has the potential to turn into one of the four potions that have added abilities. So, an unidentified elixir gives a, a minion, no matter what, plus two plus two, and gains a bonus effect. So, we have elixir of life, give a minion plus two plus two, and life seal. Elixir of purity, give a minion plus two plus two, and divine shield. Elixir of shadows, plus two plus two, summon a one one copy of it, and elixir of hope, Plus two, plus two, and death rattle. Return this minion to your hand. So very cool and unique um, unidentified elixirs and potions and flasks that you can actually get. So we've only taken our first steps into uh, one tunnels of cobalt and catacombs and adrenaline pumping adventure of tremendous treasures, prodigious pearls, and cornu. What the fuck, man? I can't read. Of candle loving cobalt awaits. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for more Cobalt and Catacombs cards revealed, which will mainly be around towards the end of November and December time, and we'll also be able to prepare our own runs as well. Um, so I cannot wait to get into this, and we also have a couple more. Um, there was actually Spellstones released, so I did forget about this one. Um, basically, there are stories of mysterious stones imbued in strange magics that can be found within the catacombs. Rumor has it that the spell stones were forged for a dark purpose, but for now, they lie in dust, inert, uh, waiting for someone to awaken their power. Uh, one type of spell stone was created for each of the nine classes, so heroes can add the spell stones to their deck, awaken them from their slumber, though each one has a unique key that uh, they might be uh, empowered by gaining armor or casting spells or overloading mana crystals. So behold the shaman one that we were able to witness. So basically it costs seven. Summons one copy of a friendly minion, but if you overload three mana crystals, you get to upgrade this to summoning two copies of a friendly minion. If you overload three more, you'll be able to get summon three copies of a friendly minion. So in its dormant state, the Sapphire Spellstone copies a friendly minion for 7 mana, but after its wielder fully empowers the stone, it can be combined with a huge minion to summon a powerful army of that exact minion. So, that's all the updates that we got for Hearthstone, and it was a lot, but I cannot wait for this adventure to come out. Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Check out the description box down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and have a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.